we're Riverside and you can tell that there's wildlife tracks right there in the mud. What do you think did that? It's a mammal. It's a mammal that walks on its toes. It's a deer. It's a white-tailed deer. It's going in this direction. There's another. Two toes. Roadside wildlife. The Canada goose is almost entirely a plant eater. So in the winter, it's got to turn its diet over to green grass. Because of that, you might end up seeing it more next to parking lots, not just ponds and lakes. It's 35 degrees Fahrenheit. It's just switching over from rain to snow. This wood frog employs a phenomenal adaptation to get through winter. As the temperatures fall and everything freezes around this frog, everything does, except for the frog. It has antifreeze within its blood. Growing in groups of five is the native pine tree, the white pine. Let's look at two different pines. So the one with the long, flexible needles that grow in groups of five is a white pine. Here's a white pine. It's a young one. Now let's go find another, let's go find another pine tree. A different species of pine, but also naturally occurring in this area, is a hemlock. You see it has needles too, but they do not grow in groups. And take a look, those needles are flat. And check out, when you flip them over, you'll actually see there's two teeny white lines underneath every needle. So this is an eastern hemlock, and the other one was an eastern white pine. Take a look at this! Yes, we found lichen! Lichen is half plant, half fungus. It's a symbiotic relationship between algae and fungus. It does not hurt this tree. In fact, the tree's bark provides it with habitat. Pretty cool. Lichen. Well, we've just had our winter solstice, the shortest day of the year, the longest night of the year. So from ferns to frogs, winter's here and wildlife's got to deal with it. I'm Natural Smarty. Thanks for coming along on this virtual hike.